Good afternoon, this is Tony Sargent at Prudential Book of Solomon in Manhattan, and this is Sargent Luxury Homes TV. Thank you very much for coming. Hope this will be your number one source for Manhattan real estate information. What's good about the market right now? Uh, in comparison to what was happening last year, where virtually very, no contracts were getting signed in the first couple months of the year, and if they were, they were mostly under a million dollars. This year, we're seeing a lot of contracts getting signed, and especially above a million, seven, five, two million. So that's good. Why is this happening? I think there's bonus money that's showing up in the market, uh, not at the levels that we used to have, but certainly it's there. Interest rates are still low, and prices have come down far enough that buyers that were sitting on the fence have actually decided this is the time to get in. As a result, there's actually a shortage of inventories. What I'm hearing from my fellow brokers and what I'm actually seeing out there when I'm taking my buyers to show them stuff. So I'm seeing properties that are sort of on the market anywhere from 100 to 180 days, and then there's other properties that have only been on the market for two weeks. And there's sort of that middle spectrum of ground in terms of the stuff that would have been on 90 days. Those seem to have all gone to contract. Jonathan Miller from Miller Samuel, who does the Douglas Elliman Market Reports, has talked a lot over the last year about shadow inventory. What is shadow inventory? It's what he's referring to is developers that saw the market turn down. Um, really have taken a step back and in some cases they may there's a feeling out there in the market that there's a lot of new development property that's actually just not on the market. I've certainly seen that in some developments where there were apartments that weren't really active um, but we have like the Chelsea Enclave on 9th Avenue and 20th Street. Uh, apartments there recently came back on the market and some of them have actually gone to contract at very strong prices. So. Really good to know that uh, the contracts are happening. There's some more inventory coming back on the market from new developments, but there's sig the significance of what is out there is, is minimal compared to what used to be out there. Challenges in the market, financing as we all know has been tough. Your credit rating and your credit score has to be really strong at this point. Also very important to know, and this is where having a knowledgeable broker like me on your side is really important. Banks are not just looking at you and your finances, they're also looking a lot more closely at buildings and their financials. And if a building isn't meeting up to snuff, they are not financing in that building. So bottom line, if you're looking to buy, uh, there's obviously certain uncertainty in your mind. A lot of buyers are nervous. Is the market going to go up? Is it going to maintain its level? Is it going to drop some more? But what we do know is that there's still instability in the market. We see it when Bernanke talks about the financials and the interest rates. We see what happens in the stock market. So that's certainly affecting consumer confidence. If you are looking to be in the market today, I think the key questions are, what is your time frame? Why are you buying? Is it a life decision or is it a lifestyle decision? And then if you're choosing a place to live, if the market goes up or down, could you stay there longer than three to five years? Because if you're looking at a short-term picture, there's probably a little bit more risk in the market but what I know from what I see over the last 10 years of working in Manhattan real estate is those people that bought 10 years ago, after the decline of 2009, they are still well ahead. And here's a little thing. Last week, and I, I smile because this is this, this really, when I look back to 1999, I found a market report that we put out in December 99. And here's what really stunned me. The average price point of an apartment in Manhattan condo in 1999 was $569,000. The average price point of a condo in 2009 after the downturn was $1.631 million. So that's two and a half, two point seven five times the value of what it was worth in 1999. Incredible. You know, it was amazing. Studios, one bedrooms doubled in value. Two bedrooms, one and a half times in the 10 years. Three bedrooms had a much smaller increase because that was the most effective in the last year and a half. And four bedrooms went from $3.8 million to $5.8 million. So the best thing to do is be out there looking, be in touch with your broker, share your information with him have, or her, have them do the same and work as a team to really identify the best property and get you in as soon as possible. Please let me know if you have any questions at tsargent at element.com. And I appreciate your time today. I'll talk to you soon.